Today we're going to practice metta, loving kindness, cultivating that sense of wishing everybody well equally. So we'll start by finding a comfortable position, shaking out any wiggles, rolling your shoulders, moving your neck until you feel you reach a good equilibrium. And then let's connect our crown up to the heavens. Feel like you're suspended by a thread from your head up to a star above. That sense of suspension allows you to have some spaciousness in your vertebra. And we welcome in through the crown a beam of light that's purifying and illuminating, coming in from the top, filling up the inside of our head, clearing out any cobwebs or fog, traveling down our spine, clearing out any emotional debris, going down one vertebra at a time, all the way down to our pelvis, filling up the bowl of our pelvis, and then from our seat, we send a root system down into the earth, entering the soil and the crust and sending a taproot all the way down to the core and we feel anchored and centered through these roots. We're able to use this connection to release any of those metabolic byproducts of our emotions. Anything we need to release, we can send it down into the earth where it can be composted and transmuted into fresh earth energy available to anyone at any time. This grounding energy we now bring up through those roots. Allow it to fill the inside of our pelvis and travel up our spinal column, mingling with the heavenly chi and going all the way up to our heart center, nourishing us and centering us and grounding us. Filling our heart with compassion, with love. And we can use this energy to cultivate loving kindness. So I'll ring the bell three times, setting our intentions. The first, we intend that anything from the past that arises in our meditation we just allow it to arise and fall away. Now anything regarding the future, whether it's to-do lists or worries, projections, as they arise, we don't attach to them we just allow it to fall away naturally and not interfere with our cultivation practice. Lastly, we set the intention to be present in this moment and if we have body sensations or emotions that arise, we don't attach to them. We don't think about the stories related to them. We just allow them to fall away naturally. So we'll start our metta practice 
by thinking of friends or benefactors, people to whom it's easy and natural to send well wishes. Picture the first person. Connect your heart to theirs. And using their name, repeat the meta phrases. May you be safe and protected. May you be happy and healthy. May you live in May you be safe and protected. May you be happy and healthy. And may you live in peace and ease. May you be safe and protected. May you be happy and may you be healthy. May you live in peace and ease. And you're welcome to change the phrasing to whatever works best for you. May you be safe and protected from harm. May you be happy and may you be healthy. And if that isn't possible, may you meet your limitations with grace. May you love and accept yourself just as you are. May you live in a state of peace, connection, contentment, and ease. And may you be freed from suffering and the causes of suffering. May you be safe and protected from harm. May you be happy and healthy. And if that's not possible, may you meet your limitations with grace. May you love and accept yourself just as you are. May you live in a state of peace, connection, contentment, and ease. And may you be freed from suffering and the causes of suffering. May you be safe and protected. May you be happy and healthy. May you live in peace and with ease. Continue on your own with your friends and benefactors for a few more minutes.
Now we'll turn our intentions inward to ourselves. We're just as worthy of our well wishes and loving kindness as each person we've just pictured. You can do some self acupressure and put your hands over your sternum or one over your heart and one on your belly, whatever it takes to feel connected in with yourself. May I be safe and protected. May I be happy and healthy. May I live in peace and with ease. May I be safe and protected. May I be happy and healthy. May I live in peace and with ease. May I be safe and protected from harm. May I be happy and may I be healthy. And if that isn't possible, may I meet my limitations with grace. May I love and accept myself just as I am. May I live in a state of peace, connection, and contentment, making my living with ease. May I be freed from suffering and the causes of suffering. May I be safe and protected from harm. May I be happy and may I be healthy. And if that isn't possible, may I meet my limitations with grace. May I love and accept myself just as I am. May I live in a state of peace, connection, contentment, and ease. May I be freed from suffering and the causes of suffering. May I be safe and protected May I be happy and healthy. May I live in peace and ease. Continue on your own for a few more minutes until the bell rings.
So now we'll work with people that it might not be quite as easy to send loving kindness to. If you're newer to the practice, it's suggested you work with neutral acquaintances. But if you've been at this for a while and have cultivated a deep reservoir of loving kindness for yourself and people that you naturally love, then you can work with people who challenge you. And it's suggested that you start small. You don't have to go to the most difficult people in your life right away. So picture the neutral person or the challenger in your mind. Connect your hearts to theirs and repeat the metta phrases. May you be safe and protected. May you be happy and healthy. May you live in peace and with ease. May you be safe and protected. May you be happy and healthy. May you live in peace and with ease. May you be safe and protected from harm. May you be happy and may you be healthy. And if that isn't possible, may you meet your limitations with grace. May you love and accept yourself just as you are. May you live in a state of peace, connection, contentment, and ease. And may you be freed from suffering and the causes of suffering. May you be safe and protected from harm. May you be happy and healthy, and if that isn't possible, may you meet your limitations with grace. May you love and accept yourself just as you are. May you live in a state of peace, connection, contentment and ease. And may you be freed from suffering and the causes of suffering. May you be safe and protected. May you be happy and healthy. May you live in peace and with ease. Continue on your own for a few more minutes.
Now we'll turn our attention to all beings. Just as I wish to be safe and protected, so may all beings be safe and protected from harm. Just as I wish to be happy and healthy, so may all beings know health and happiness. Just as I wish to live in peace, connection, contentment and ease, so may all beings know peace, experience connectedness, feel contented, making their livings with ease. May it be so. Thank you so much, all of you, for practicing today.